Right, hello. Hopefully this is streaming, so I'm just going to get the chat up if it is, and then chat with you all while I'm doing the game stream. So I've had a bit of a weird evening today. Uh, we had a bit of a storm earlier, and it caused a power surge, and I had to work out which fuse or whatever was broken to restart the trip switch. So that was interesting. So let me just put my phone on silent, and then open up the stream so I can read the chat. Uh, here we go, so planes is in, alright. So, it, it's a video game stream, but it's one where it's very relevant to what's going on at the moment in the UK. So, um, I thought I'd just stream this game rather than doing a webcam stream. Or talking about the fact there is no fuel. Or that there is fuel, but you can't get it because panic buyers. So anyway, let me... Let me get this phone plugged in. Right, that looks like it's the right resolution. So I've closed the gas station because I need to order some fuel in. And this game's quite fast paced when everything starts going on. So obviously this isn't set in the UK, but I thought it'd be quite appropriate. Uh, do I have any stock at all I can restock stuff with? No, I'm completely out of stock of all types. Okay, um... But the main thing is I need to order in fuel, because I don't have much fuel I've got. Let's take the rubbish out as well. I haven't seen the one filling up a plastic bag. I've seen the woman filling up plastic water bottles. She's literally just emptied. Not knowing that they're going to melt if you put petrol in a plastic water bottle. So, hello everybody that's playing. So I actually bought this a week or two ago, but it seems quite prophetic. Although, um, I don't know in this you can actually have the option of not having any fuel deliveries come in. Um, so, so that is a difference between this and real life. Um, the fact that, you know, in this... Let's tell that woman to go on break. Uh, task list. Go on a break. There we go. Right, so I've got $728. What is the current price of fuel? Fuel supply. Um, I've only got $225 of fuel left. And it's $2 um Is that a litre or a gallon? I don't know, because this is set in America. I guess it's a litre, but maybe it wasn't made by Americans, because Americans use gallons, not litres for fuel. So... No, I've got $728. So that's $400. $600. That's all I can order, really, isn't it? $600. So that's all the 600 litres of fuel. Yeah, that's the thing. Germany's having the issues, but then it's not convenient, is it, to blame it on Brexit when Germany's having the issue. But yeah, it, it's not as bad in Germany, I guess, because they can get labour more easily to drive the lorries, and the UK government is really good at fucking shit up. But yeah, the, the fuel crisis isn't just limited to the UK. It's just the UK is the perfect storm of an incompetent government combined with the media going... Oh, don't panic, boy. But there's no fuel. It's a fuel apocalypse. And all the people go, Oh my god, I need some fuel. Um, so there's that. Yep, drunk Russian, that's happening everywhere. So yes, um, I hope you like single um, carriageways when they're meant to be dual carriageways. Because um, <laughs> the left-hand lane is only for petrol stations now. Exactly, Tyre. That's why I'm streaming it. I thought this is a good game to chat about stuff I'm playing. Because in this game I don't run out of fuel, unlike real life. It's not fabricated. It's fabricated in the sense that there isn't a shortage of fuel. There's a shortage of drivers, as I've already said. But the issue is that uh, there's, there's a dumbass pig stuck there, look. Um, but yeah, there's... Um, the issue is that... Um, yeah, they basically don't have enough drivers to take it to the fuel depots and when it was only going to be like one in every 20 you know petrol stations affected because the media started scaremongering every idiot that doesn't have any sort of critical thinking skills then we're like oh my god I can't get fuel I need to fill up jerry cans it's in the title Was it actually, Justin? I can't remember without watching Mad Max, but I know um, like there's a bit of a timeline, isn't there? Because you get some of the stuff where they're low on fuel before like all of the shit kicks off and nukes in the Mad Max series. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. 
So this is one of those simulator games where you just have to run a gas station. It's pretty damn simple, but it's quite fun for what it is. You know, you have to you have to deal with horrible customers and stuff like that. I'm not going to bother refilling my shelves anytime soon. Let, let's just get the gas in first. So we've got enough gas now to open for a bit. Um, they're pretty obviously is Alex. There's not a shortage of HGV drivers in general. There's a shortage of ones qualified or wanting to do um, basically basically fuel deliveries because of the fact the pay is not good enough. Oh, I don't need at least AK to fill up for another um, month to a month and a half. Because, you know, when you have a cheap Eastern European car that doesn't use much fuel, it's actually pretty damn good to have that. Right, let's put a worker on shift, and then let's um, manning the till. Um, one of them owes me money, because I paid them premium, so they can work the till. Right, task lists, handle the register, because that's the most boring job. And then, um, let, let's open the station, because unlike everywhere else, I have fuel. Yeah, it's like toilet paper, isn't it, Rich? Just with petrol and diesel. Uh, I did one, Kathan, literally two days ago. Well, not, not two days ago, like a week ago. Didn't you see my one on the Sturm Gewehr 57? You know, this thing. Not that I've got a webcam, so I'd get striked for doing it, but I'm sure you can hear this on the um, microphone. See, I've got I've got the Diak Sturm Gewehr 57 right behind me. Um, I did a video on that. Did you not bother watching it? Because, you know, it was a very expensive video to make. Right, hopefully people will start turning up soon. Apparently there's, oh, there's one foot print there, let's flip that up. Right, is this, this building fully cleaned up now? Oh look, we've got our first customer. Uh, yes, tyre, but that's the same everywhere, most people are dumb. That's basically always been a thing of humans. I could break into their cars, or they're waiting to be, um... Now that one's got an easy lock. Let's do the person with an easy lock, because they're so dumb they don't notice. Unless you, um... Unless I set off the car alarm, they won't notice the fact I'm picking the lock on their uh, boot or their trunk, how the Americans say it. Oh, two old red barrels in their trunk and five dollars twenty-five for it. Now let's fill up the petrol. Oh, customer at garage. Um, I found out in this you don't actually need. I don't know if this is an exploit or not, but you don't actually have to um repair their cars. You can just do this, and apparently it's classed as repaired. Yeah, it's good for that, isn't it, Rich? Um. Especially ones where there's still a recoil spring in it, so the charging handles actually go back and forwards. I ought to buy a Diak pump at some point, just so I can do the proper pump action cycling noise. Because the Lee Enfield still has a really sweet um, cycling noise. I mean, like all of the bolt actions do, but I really like the Lee Enfield one. Because the Lee Enfield one sounds like this. Um, let's take the safety off. Like, I really like Lee Enfield's one. But, um... Yeah, right, I'll pop that down so it doesn't distract me when I'm meant to be streaming. Right, anybody else driving up to the petrol pumps? Oh, 
Alright, I better repair, uh, not repair, but I better sweep in here, look, because it's starting to get dirty in here. With people chucking trash everywhere, getting my floors dirty, and then they'll moan that it's too dirty in the gas station. Then they won't want to buy products from me. And at some point I'll have to refill all the stock in here, I just can't be asked to do it right now. Assuming this, you can actually probably operate the gas station just with one of the features, like the shop or the pumps or whatever, but I've not really tried it. Yeah, don't panic! Uh, no, I don't have the Turkish version. Uh, is that the Turkish ripoff of the S10 or the Turkish ripoff of the S6? Well, I don't have either of those, even though they're interesting. But, you know, when, when you talk about rip-off masks, it's basically, are they made to a better or worse quality than the original mask? You know, and if so, that's how I think about them. But obviously, if they're a clone, they're still not as good as the original, because of the fact that the designers didn't come up with the idea, they just copied it. That sounds good, AK. Uh, if you're asking where am I from, I'm from England. Which I thought would be quite obvious from my voice, but maybe not. They managed to trash this gas, uh, gas station pretty quickly, don't they? It's already um, subpar with um, footprints on the floor and trash everywhere. fill up the person's car in a minute. Well, oh, it's two cars. Oh, it's three cars. Yeah, I've still got 413 litres of fuel left. Yeah, Justin, did you see the thing, like, years ago where a woman blew herself and her house up because she was just putting petrol everywhere in her kitchen? It's literally that exact thing, isn't it? The thing of, like, oh, I can just literally buy petrol and put it in any container whatsoever. Alright, Dan, um... It's been alright. I've, I've been a lot more energetic than yesterday. I think that's just because like I had quite a long rest yesterday. But yeah, today, today has basically been um, go to work, laugh at the people panic buying. Obviously, some of the people in the queues probably legitimately need fuel, but most of them don't. So, you know, laugh and kind of sigh at them panic buying as I drive past and get the dash cam footage. Because it actually saved today. After I like fixed the dates on the thing, I think. Or like fully charged it. And then, uh, let, let's pay her extra so she uh, stays on shift. Payment. Pay your premium. Oh, can I, oh, I have to wait another 8 minutes 44 to pay a premium. Okay, never mind. Won't bother ordering anything in yet. It's interesting they have a drinking system installed, but again, if it's a clone mask, it's still a clone mask, isn't it? They didn't really design it. Clone mask can be interesting to see how things have been changed, you know, sometimes worse or sometimes better. But for the most part, if it's a clone mask, it's not really going to be any better, is it? Because they've done the thing of, you know, um, let's take a feature and just copy it. But yeah, what was really annoying is on the video I did today, there were loads of comments that got held for review, I approved them, um, to reply to them, and then YouTube deleted them. So there was loads of people that were talking about all this from different angles, like, you know, government mismanagement and everything else, that made really good comments, I wanted to reply to them, and I couldn't because YouTube deleted the comments. Why do they always, like, why do half the people always salute you in this game? It's a bit weird. Do they do that in America? Like, I salute you for filling my car up with gasoline. Oh, 
piggies driving off. Is there any easy trucks? No, they're all master trunks. Yeah, isn't it like a grey white colour? Yeah, I'm assuming it's just because they cheaped out on the rubber, but I don't know. Maybe it is better rubber. I doubt it is. But yeah, I'll have my dash cam in my car again tomorrow, so if there's any footage worth getting tomorrow, I'll just um, upload that again. Oh, what, somebody rich trying to use one sort of not flammable thing for another flammable thing and being blown into pieces. But yeah, there's a lot of shit like that, isn't there, where people don't understand that different chemicals, like the combustion of them and whatever else. Because like I said, I'll, I'll have to research something pretty, in, you know, uh, pretty uh, thoroughly before I do something. Because the interesting thing was on that stream last night when we did the members stream, there were people on about that bloke's channel. You know, he made his homemade x-ray thing to prove, like, how US things overcharge for, you know, x-rays. And then he was getting all the hate comments, and, like, some of them he was reading out. And one of them that got me, because I replied to his video on this, was, he, like, somebody saying, Oh, no, you, you can't take pictures of x-rays of a regular camera. You know, you need all the specialist equipment to do it. It's like, if you have a, if you have a phosphorescent screen, an intensifier screen, you can take picture, pictures of an, uh, pictures of x-rays all the time. Because all x-rays are, when they're showing up on a phosphorescent screen, is, you know, the x-rays interacting with a material, or a medium. Because that's how Rundgren fucking discovered x-rays, was finding out that stuff was glowing in the dark when he was powering up an electrical tube. But, you know, people are, oh no, you can't, can't see an x-ray using phosphor. It's like, yes, you can. You can't see the x-ray itself, but you can see the x-ray interacting with a medium, like bone or flesh or whatever else. But yeah, some of those some of those dumbass comments were amazing on there. You know, people claiming to be qualified but not understanding how any of the high voltage stuff worked or the um, X-ray radiation worked. Yeah, until you have one, you can't really verify, can you? Because there's lots of stuff where people say, "Oh, that's great," and then you get it, and you're like, "This is a bit crap." I suppose what this game doesn't accurately simulate, or does it, it does to an extent, but if you try and order fuel when there's a massive queue of customers that the fuel tanker can't get in, um, which is something currently happening in a lot of garages, where, um, you know, the fuel tanker can't get into the station because all of the idiots are blocking the roads. Oh, which trash bin is full? That one. Right. Right, nobody at the garage. Oh, we've not got somebody at the cash register. Hang on a second. Employee, that one. Payment, a task list handle to register. There we go. At some point while I'm doing the stream, I will order some more stock into the store, but I don't actually know really what I need. I'll just order a bit of everything. I mostly find weirdly tobacco and uh, alcohol sells the best in this game. You know, it's kind of the funny thing that addictive products are the best thing to put in your um, petrol station. Well, I, I have quite a lot of petrol in my um, personal car, yes, because um, I, I don't panic by, you know, I fill up when I need to fill up. When I'm about halfway down my tank to a third of my tank. So I filled up maybe a week, two weeks ago in my Dacia, and my Dacia is quite economic on fuel, because it used to be what would be considered an eco-petrol car, but it isn't anymore, because the government changed the um, you know classifications to make more tax money. But that does mean that you know I can drive around for ages in my car and not use much petrol. Yeah, if we were doing UK petrol station simulator, this would be like a line of nothing but cars coming all the way up here, queuing for the pumps, but then not having any fuel for the pumps. Uh, there is one drunk Russian. Weapon collector who's on the video at the moment has one. 
look up the uh, Chinese Type 86S rifle. That's a ballpup AKM. I mean, are people ringing up for petrol? I don't know why you'd ring up for petrol. You can't order petrol on the phone, can you? You'd have to turn up with your car to get petrol. At least Jerry can. Or is it people like, Oh, does your petrol station have any petrol left? Because I don't know. Right, cause I'm in the garage, I'm not going to bother serving. I'm just going to press the button and press it back again. So, like, oh, you served me, you know, I didn't. Right, okay. Right, okay, how is, um, let's clean the toilet up. How is my, um, what's it looking? My stock in here, and my petrol stock. I've still got 30% fuel. Uh, can I get a full amount of fuel now and pay for it? So it's still two dollars per litre. So if I was to order five hundred litres, then another hundred, that would be one thousand one hundred four. Or I can afford that. I might as well fully fill up my petrol station. Then. Oh, so you make about double the profit. I think it is on every bit of fuel, and it's like the fastest thing to just have delivered and unload. Sounds interesting, the Wheel of Steel. Is that a similar gold looking filter to some of the weird ones that were issued? I know what you mean by that. But the ones they had on the, um. What are those weird civilian masks called? CR7s? I'm trying to remember the exact name of it. Yeah, Civilian Respirator 7. Because some of those have, like, the weird gold exhale valves and, like, gold filters on them. It's more nationwide, um, but it's, it wasn't originally. It was because the media panic buyed everybody into buying fuel. So basically, what actually happened was a couple of petrol companies said, you know, like gasoline diesel companies said, they won't be able to supply all of their stations. You know, it's so like 1 in 20 um, fuel stations won't have fuel. And what that turned into was basically the... Um, media hyping it up as everywhere's running out of fuel quick panic by petrol so then every idiot with no critical thinking skills rushed to the petrol pumps um filled up their car and jerry cans worth of you know fuel into um cars causing a petrol crisis because fuel stations in it like every pl everywhere in the world are not equipped for every single motorist to turn up at once uh yeah drunk russian i was saying at the start of the stream that was the reason i was late on today because um, the few, um, some of my fuses are blown from the storm, like through you know power surges, so I had to replace them, or you just unplug you know the things before I could get in. Thank you. Just take five fifty out of your car, right? You noticing? That must. Oh, there's a customer at the station. I had a fuel apparently. Hello. Would you like some fuel? I've got lots of fuel at the moment. How hard is the piggy's boot to run? Uh, intermediate, I might be able to do it without one noticing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we didn't know it. Very good. Stupid pig. Ah, yeah, the one the nuclear industry used. Ah, yeah, I know exactly the one you mean, because I think um, one of the British Science Museums has that in their, um, display thing, like the nuclear industry modified C7s. But yes, I know the exact one you mean now. Yeah, so, because in the US, yeah, it was like you had that cyber attack, wasn't it? Like the ransomware attack on the pipeline. But was it the same thing where it was only going to affect some stations or some states and then it turned into everywhere because people were like, Oh my god, there's a fuel shortage. I need to fill up 10,000 gallons of fuel. Was it like that same sort of problem? 
where people were just like, oh, rather than buying a sensible amount so everybody can still buy stuff, you know, I'll, I'll just buy a stupid amount. It's like toilet paper, wasn't it, at the start of the pandemic? Like here, the US, Australia. Like, oh my god, there's no, there's no toilet paper. We need to buy all that toilet paper. Um, yes, Ford Flash Heart. Here we go. There we go. You can still move cars around the broom. I don't know really why you want to, other than blocking the road to, um, you know, loot loads of cars. But yes, you can still block cars using the broom. They've not patched it. I I'm glad you enjoy patrician games such as this, Lord Flash Heart. I don't know why, but I like a load of these stupid simulator games. Like, you know, House Flipper. Um... Power Wash Simulator, all those. I don't know why, they're just, I find I quite like them for listening to podca uh, podcasts. You know, they're, they're, I just find they're quite enjoyable for when I want to do menial things. Because it reminds me of working my actual job, but there's less, you know, homicidal instincts. Um, like I'm sure most people working retail know. That, you know, as bad as the customers might be in this game, they don't actually want, you know, you uh, want to make you hunt their family down and murder them. Like real retail. That's crazy for the US. Five dollars a gallon for the US. Yeah, because bear in mind, in the UK, we're very expensive for fuel. But we're the UK. It's massively taxed here. Yeah. So I always find it crazy when you see US stuff and it's like, you know, 50 cents a gallon in old films. You're like, what? Like, so is a US gallon like 10 UK litres or something? Like 9, 10 UK litres? Because if so, in the UK at the moment, it's like £1.30 to £1.40 a litre. So that means it's, like, you know, if you had 10 litres, it would be, um, what, like, 13 pounds, 14 pounds? So for US prices, that's insane. But yeah, look, look, I've jammed it now. I've jammed it. I've wrecked everything by, um, using the broom. Do I actually have any supplies in the garage if I want to repair the cars, or do I still need to order them in? No tyres, a couple of mirrors, and a couple of scratchings. Right, I'll just do the repair on this one. I'll not the repair, just do that. Oh, US gallons are as small as 3.7 litres. That's pretty low, isn't it? I thought, well, at least compared to UK litres, but still. Yeah, so, if a US gallon is 3.7 litres, let's just say 4 litres to round it up, in the UK that would be £1.30, £2.60, about £5 something or other, 5 to £6, 5 to $6. Dollars. So yeah, that's, you're getting close to UK prices in some places then for um, gasoline. Thanks, Biden. Alright, while the cars are jammed, I might as well use this as a good opportunity to um, clear up the gas station. Seeing as nobody else can come in. Alright, she can go on a break. Yeah, that sounds very good, Wheel of Steel. Like, like I said, there's lots of stuff like that. If you're a collector, it's really good, isn't it? Because um, there's there's stuff like that where I've just really lucked up, you know, lucked out with other um, kind of like collectibles. Not not necessarily gas masks, but you know, just stuff where something's pretty rare, but somebody just sells it for a good price because they just want to make a sale. Um, right. While all the cars are jammed, let's um, order a garbage collection. Which doesn't actually cost money for some reason, which is good. And let's also order a regular delivery. Let's just do, um, I've not, not bothered upgrading anything to do with my, um, car thing, because I don't really use it, but. So what's the actual price of this compared to, um. Oh, so I can sell it for. S Sale price is $90, but yeah, it's, it's above average, so you don't make much returns on it. Well, because I can afford it, um, I might as well buy some, just so I can repair one or two cars. 
So let's have that for $3.90. And then, can I have this on the same delivery as a um, regular thing or not? No, let's not bother. Let's just do um, products. Right, um, we'll just buy whatever's at the best price. I wish you could see a quick thing on the right hand side which shows you how much money you're currently spending on your order. Right, five, four, three dollars. Um, alcohol, because, you know, that's a really good idea, isn't it? Selling alcohol at a gas station. Well, I know they will do that, but still. Oh, I've come in to fill up my car and I also want to take alcohol away with me. What could go wrong? They're doing that at some fucking service stations now, aren't they? Serving alcohol, like opening up bars and service stations. Like, what could go wrong with that idea? Because, you know, as, as much as I like a drink, that is one thing I never combine alcohol and driving. Like, you know, if, if I check on a breathalyzer when I wake up in the morning and I'm still over the limit, I'm like, no, I'm not driving, I'm walking. Sadly, Lord Flashheart, I don't think there is a nudie magazine one. You can get newspapers, but they're all boring, look. The News Times, Boham Daily, The Sports Star, Crosswords, Puzzlers, Home Cooking, and Some News. Let's order Some News because it's cheap. What, what's my money at now? 822, right, I can still order a bit more. Uh, car care? Um, should we sell some people some sponges? They're very overpriced, look. $84 to buy in 30 sponges, fucking hell. We're getting proper ripped off in my petrol station. 991, so I can't quite afford that, so let's knock off one lot of sponges. Right, order, there we go. Now I'm nearly out of money. And then, when, when the lorries need to get in, I'll just use my broom to knock people out of the way. Because apparently my broom is still broken. Oh, let's put this in the trash before the uh, lorry comes. The dustbin men. Yeah, th th this was, I think, released on Steam like a month or so ago, and I bought it just because I kind of like pointless simulator games when I just want to waste time not doing anything chocolate nothing. But yeah, th this is the perfect thing at the moment. Look, 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 I I've made the realistic cues, look. There we go. <laughs> I just realised that. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> this game's got more realistic now. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny, but it is. Right, get out the way of my trucks. Actually, I can probably just fix it, can't I, by getting the truck out the way that's actually causing this issue. I know you can do that, I can't be bothered at the moment, because I just, at the moment, I just want to get my delivery in. Out the way. And also the pig can get out of the way as well. He's been sat here for hours. Oh, what happened to him? <laughs> right. Uh, sadly, Rich, I don't think you can. You can fill up customers' cars to more or less money than they want, so they get angry with you. But, um, so yeah, in theory, you could limit it to $30 a person, yeah. But, um... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> But, um, right, we, be we better get an attendant on the counter because they're all going to come swarming in now. And hopefully my delivery can arrive at some point when the queue's not blocked. Right, um, employee. Um, this one I owe $105, oh, which I can't afford, so we'll, we'll put this one on instead. Um, handle the register. There we go. Oh, no, no, is he coming to register before the woman's ready? It doesn't matter. Alright, we, we can start filling up the cars again. Alright, by the look of it, my, my deliveries and my trash collection can at least um, get into the thing now. Most of them aren't even buying, well they're buying about $30 worth, 30 to $40 worth. 
uh, the broom is very overpowered. Right, okay, so good. That person's taking the trash out. And, oh, good, there's my, my, there's my delivery that I actually want. Right, okay, cool. So let's, um... Let's go open the warehouse, and then I need to close it so the fucking kids don't steal the shit out of my warehouse. Oh, and the kids in this game fucking steal alcohol and cigarettes, like real kids would. What, why are the pigs driving through my warehouse? What are they playing at? Get out of my fucking warehouse, pigs. Uh, okay, right. This is the old sort of job I used to do, hence why I have a back injury now, unloading lorries. Oh no, there's a party van coming. I do hope we have enough stock in to deal with all the party goers. Right, hurry up and get out of here so I can lock up the warehouse and then I can help. L look at my hygiene rating going down from all the people throwing trash everywhere. Right, Nick. Oh no, there's, there's customers everywhere, oh no. Right, okay, quick, quick, quick. Um, let's do the car in the garage, go to the fuel, and then start throwing uh, random shit away in the thing. Look, they're trashing it. They're trashing my fuel station. Look, I'm getting bad reviews from all the twats who are putting rubbish in the bin then complaining the rubbish is not. Let's go fill up their cars while I've still got fuel. Um, well, I've already got a banner for my channel, so thank you very much, but I'm not going to change my banner. As I've probably said to people before, but you know, as nice as that is, people doing stuff like that. I've got one that I'm going to use. Right, I might as well restock the shelves now, actually, saying that, because I've got the, um... I've got the, all the delivery I ordered, haven't I? Let's, let's just clear up all this shit so people don't leave, like, Oh, there's, there's sandy footprints on the floor of your gas station. I'm going to complain and leave. What's that cooler filled up? Right, that's, that's all the coolers filled. Let's give them a load of alcohol to buy. Some snacks. Right, don't have any of those, don't have any of those, don't have any of those. I've got some newspapers, some news. Right, let's put loads of things of some news down. I've still got actual fuel in my tank because I'm like the UK stations. Oh, where did my where did my bag of trash go?
But yeah, so like I was saying, the good thing for me and like everybody I know is because none of us have panic bought fuel, we don't have any issue with it. But again, it is bad for the people that legit need fuel and now the idiots are stopping them getting it because, oh no, I, I can't have anything less than a fuel, you know, full tank of petrol and like 10 jerry cans worth of fuel at once. Right, do I have any other stock I need to place down? Let's have a look. Products. Uh, I've got an alcohol shelf, but not in use. Oh, some, some more newspapers that I don't have space for, and some cleaning sponges. Okay. There we go. There's all the sponges that were overpriced. Yeah, it, some people don't seem to understand, do they, that fuel can go off or that, you know, it can accidentally combust. So you probably just don't want to store fuel in random bottles in a garage or something. What's the thing you get in diesel cord? Because there's a particular thing for diesel, isn't there? Um... I'm trying to remember what it's called now, where like diesel goes off. It's not diesel worms, is it? But there's some sort of like weird, like diesel mold you get, isn't there? In like diesel specifically. And I'm sure there's similar things of petrol, but I can't think what they're called. But I'm sure there's like some sort of diesel rot type thing you can get. Oh no, gas in the pig. is it that makes diesel go mouldy? Just like what's in it? Or is it like something that actually eats the diesel? I could order another delivery in, couldn't I, while everything's going fairly well. Uh, right, what's my fuel at? Uh, 64%. Right, I don't really need any fuel right now. Mac products. Pastries. You also order some chocolate muffins and chip cookies. It's all two lots of those. Um, toys, any of those fairly cheap? Not really. Just order some car toys then. Um, hats. Hats are expensive in this. Glasses. Glasses are expensive, but we'll order some cool glasses then. Car care. Nice little car cleaner. Newspapers. I've got too many newspapers anyway. Let's just order some more booze. Um, just order straight whiskey for everybody coming into here. Or did I order any tobacco last time and just not put it on the shelves? I can't remember. Probably just didn't order any. Okay, so that's uh, $1,000. Didn't afford that. Good. And I've got $103 left. So she's going off because she's run out of energy.
Yeah, I think you might be right there. Like, it is some sort of biological thing, isn't it? But yeah. It's interesting, but I guess not very interesting if you, it happens to your fuel. Alright, well, let's, let's put an employee back on the register while I go to unload the delivery. Um, salary to pay. Oh, we'll do the one that I only need to pay a cheap salary to. Actually, that's still $105, wasn't it? Oh, never mind. Um, okay, start talking. Task list. Handle the register. There we go. Diesel algae. Yeah, that's the one, thank you. Yep. Yeah. So it's like algae, like pond scum type stuff, just in the diesel. Yeah. Alright, so let's unload all of my cigarettes and alcohol. <laughs> so, I know they do sell those in gas stations, but it's still funny to me, like, you know, alcohol. Like, oh, here's some hard liquor. You know, don't use it while you're driving. Now, so is that another thing? So, biodiesel is actually worse than old-fashioned diesel for it. Because I know, like, um, that E10 crap they're putting in cars now is nowhere near as good as, like, uh, unleaded for, um you know, like, fuel economy and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting, isn't it, that all the eco stuff they push on people is actually worse than um, the old-fashioned stuff, as much as it might be better for the environment. Like, as a customer, you're getting a worse service by using it. some of this delivery away then. Well, I won't stream too much longer because obviously this gets a bit repetitive but I just thought it would be interesting to talk about all the shit going on at the moment plus you know, video game kind of chats. Key to supply to with now. people's footprints before they all start moaning about everything again. Let's just press the button for the person in the garage because I'm not actually going to service their car. Uh, apparently not rich. Uh, they also don't throw trash in the bin half of them, they just chuck it on the floor. in the game so maybe that's why because if you were able to invest in doormats it would make the game easier so you can't do it just like everybody here has to get you to fill up the tank for them they can't do it themselves because you know that, that, that's, that's mostly in the 21st century I thought most people would you know fill up their own tanks by working out how much fuel they wanted and then just doing it themselves but apparently not
only problem with these pastry things is you can't fit many in there, look. I think we're already out of pastry space. Right, is that all the shells? Oh, tobacco, yeah. Let's just double check. Do I have anything left? Products? Oh, yeah, the glass cleaner. Let's put that away. There we go. Oh, well, they've already managed to block the road. Now, while it's here, let's have a look. Looks like fucking Elon Musk in that car. Can't even lock pick it properly because he's just jumped. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, Vladimir. We're playing. Oh, there's a random pile of um, sand there and there. I suppose I could I could um, clean that up. I don't see the point. That person can't even get into their fucking slot properly. Oh, is it Elon Musk again? Fuck off, Elon. There we go. Let's get let's get rid of Elon. Okay. Um. I suppose I could actually stream that Mad Max game that's really fun. Yeah, that that would be quite an appropriate game of what's going on in the UK at the moment. Um, so so this is like the prelude to the problem. And then I can do, um, maybe tomorrow whatever, stream some of the Mad Max game where I'm going around wrecking people's cars because, you know, the fuel wars. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to stream some Mad Max tomorrow or like Thursday or whatever. Because the Mad Max game is actually really fun. I just was doing it then, Nick. But yeah, I have done it, but at the moment I'm not trying to jam up the roads. But yeah, if, if you want me to make the game look like the current UK situation, let's do that now before I end the stream. Right, okay, here we go. So what we want to do is I'll fill these people's cars up. But what we want to do is get the broom and then... Put a car here, don't we, really? Okay, that's one dealt with. And then what should start happening is everybody's going to start coming in like, Oh, I can't get into the road. Oh, I'll just do this. To s that's their car serviced, apparently. Yeah, somebody else is mentioning the fact that Mad Max is actually based in 2021, which I didn't realise earlier. Maybe I'll go back and rewatch all the Mad Maxes now saying that, because it seems very appropriate. Guzzoline. Um. Oh, look, that car's on its head. There we go. It's starting to look more realistic now. I suppose it's because these cars are technically moving, the reason it's making it annoying to pick. That was good. That was just set to the uh, default thing. How did, the, how did the person manage to get to the cash register if there's a queue for the cars? Oh, she is still there serving him, is she? She's just about to go on a break.
right, let's lock pick some more cars. Who's this Klaus Schwab? I have no idea who that is. All I know at the moment is the media, you know, like massively um, exaggerating there being a problem and causing a gas shortage. But, you know, maybe he is a Mad Max fan, whoever this person is. That's not the UK Transport Minister, is it? I have no idea who that is. Is that Dominic Raab? I, I don't know if these, any of these fucking people are. Useless politicians. I wish these people would stay still so I could steal from their cars more easily. Yeah, see, I'll, I'll, I'll stream Mad Max when I next stream again, just because of how appropriate it will be. Um, master, can't be open, beginner, I'll do that one. Five minutes to do three more cars, I think I can manage that. left to do this car. Yeah, there's somebody at the cash register, so let's serve them, because I imagine that woman's gone on their break. There shouldn't be many people going to the cash register now, because of the fact they can't get in. Right. At least you don't have to ID people in this game. Like, oh, are you actually 18? Because you don't look 18, and I don't want to get sued for, um selling somebody tobacco who's underage or whatever. She's bought two bottles of whiskey, that woman. That's more than I drink. Right, okay. Um, let's go steal from the more cars. Okay, I don't know what the World Economics Forum has to do with um, what's going on in the UK, but okay. Is it a big brain conspiracy? See if I can get into this one. That looks surprising decent. Oh, hang on. The car keeps moving slightly. No, I can't do that one because it keeps moving. Alright. Oh. There we go. I've, I've got apparently thumbs up and extra money from stealing from people's cars. Uh, so tobacco in the US is the same as alcohol now, is it? You have to be 21. I'm not sure if the UK is 16 or 18 anymore for tobacco because it used to be 16, but I think they've raised it or made it like uh, like one of those weird ones where you can smoke at 16 but not buy it till you're 18 just to include, um, encourage a black market because, you know, politicians are retards. So I've just got chocolate muffins and newspapers to put down. Okay. Any spare room in these? One room. Some room in that one. Bit of room in that one. Suppose I could buy another one of these, um, might as well buy another chocolate muffin thing. Or two chocolate muffin things, seeing as they seem to sell alright, but they're very expensive per thing. Right, I uh, don't want products that I want. Um, 
features, shelves, pastries, buy, buy. There we go. Let's just take the trash out. I will finish this stream fairly soon, but this game's kind of hard to stop playing. Because it's kind of like Punishment Simulator. Right. Hopefully I can do this without jamming the shop up. Um... I don't know how much the fat Americans need to get past the shelves. Right. Hopefully they can fit through there without jamming up the shop. Right, let's get this guy out of the way so we can actually at least try and um, open the shop again. Or woman. Out my way. There we go. Right, there we go. They're, they're, they're coming back into the station now. Yeah, okay, like I said, <laughs> I've made it more realistic by um by just jamming up the thing. Um, right, uh, okay, let's let's put somebody back to work. Um, salary to pay, ninety-four dollars. Let's just pay a premium. There we go. Right, and then start talking task list. Handle register. Back to work. Can I reach their fuel tank from there? Oh no, they're just out of range! Alright, let's get this dickhead out of the way. Out of the way. I could order some ice cream with some like, cooler. At least ice creams don't go off because I was worried when I first got this game. Like, oh, I don't want to buy ice creams because they'll go off if I keep them in a warehouse, but apparently they don't. So basically, the police can just steal your tobacco if you're under 16. Yeah, so just just smoke where the police can't find you, I guess. Not that I'm encouraging young kids to smoke for obvious reasons, but yeah, I, I find laws like that really stupid. Like, you know, the thing of like, oh, we're just going to keep raising the age at which you can do something that used to be legal at any age. Because literally, all I know that happened with people I know that used to smoke, who were under, like, 18, when, you know, it used to be 16, was what would happen is they would get their mates to buy them um, cigarettes of their brand choice for a premium. So, you know, they give them, like, an extra 50p just to buy cigarettes for them. That's all it did. It just made more money for people buying them to resell them. Who didn't give, you know, give a shit about selling them to people underage. But, you know, just, that's just the same reason why all drugs should be legalised, but never mind. Have we got any more room for cookies or, um... Yeah, I'll be off in a minute, but yeah, I think this game seems fairly appropriate for what's going on in the world at the moment. And like we said, we'll have to just progress this into Mad Max, won't we, soon? Somebody's chucked a fish on the floor, look.
That's it. Go away. We said driving off now. Right, maybe I'll call that a day now, because, um, you know, um, like I said, this game doesn't have an ending to it. It's just, do menial job all day long, deal with aggressive customers. But hopefully you've enjoyed watching Gas Station Simulator, which is going to be a prelude to Mad Max, um, as I was saying. Uh, I suppose if I wanted to play this game more realistically, what I just do at the moment is not order and fuel look. So when when my fuel supply gets to zero, I just can't order any in. But yeah. Anyway, um, have a good evening, everybody. I'll stop the stream in a moment. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll play Mad Max if people want to watch the uh, good old-fashioned Mad Max game that was actually fairly good from a couple of years ago. So I've only got newspapers left, have I? Okay, so 60 newspapers. Is there any spaces for them? But yeah, there, there we go. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed, um, like, modern life in a video game form. And like I said, I'll stream a Mad Max game fairly soon for a bit, just for a laugh. Because we're in a Mad Max scenario now where everybody's killing each other over fuel. They had somebody stab somebody, didn't they, in London? I think it was today. Over fucking petrol. Because, you know, stabbing people over fuel at a petrol station. Because, you know, that's the modern world we live in, apparently. So anyway, have a good evening, everybody. Uh, I'll save this and quit now. And, um... You know, um... <laughs> Have a good evening and, and don't get murdered over somebody desperate for diesel or petrol if you're in the UK because apparently that's the world we live in now. So yeah, have a good evening and...